I'm Mark Callahan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Today we're going to be talking about trapping fish, specifically a six-line wrasse that I have that I hate and I want to get rid of them. Now why do I hate him? Well, he killed my firefish, and personally, I like the firefish better. He was better looking, so that's one strike against him. Number two, I want to get a green mandarin, and if that six line went after my firefish, I don't doubt that he's going to continue to go after that mandarin whenever I put him in the tank. So I don't know, he doesn't need three strikes. Two strikes is enough for this wrasse. It's time for him to go. So let's talk about trapping this wrasse. The first thing to know about wrasses are that they're really, really good swimmers. They can hover in and around rocks, they can stop and look at things. So the thought of catching them in a net, it ain't gonna happen. And this wrasse hates my guts. Whenever I walk up to the tank, he's out of there. So I'm gonna have to use a trap to get him. And there are a couple tricks that I'm gonna use that are, hopefully will get this guy in this trap. Because right now he's completely afraid of me. He doesn't want anything to do with me. He probably even knows what I'm up to, but I want him gone. And I'm determined to get him out of there. So let's talk about the trap first of all. So this is just a basic acrylic trap that uh, my friend has. And you can see it's clear, so the fish will go in it. And it's got a little trap door, like so, so that um, when the fish get in there, you can close it and take the trap out of your tank. You got your fish. Now, there are a couple little tricks that I'm going to use to help this wrasse get comfortable with the trap and get him in there. Number one, I haven't fed my fish for two days, so they're pretty hungry. Whenever I walk up to the tank, they get all excited thinking I'm going to feed him. So he's going to want to get in this trap when he sees the food. Number two, I got myself a little mirror. Now, this is a tip I picked up from my friend, and I put this um, on the side of my tank. You can see it's got some suction cups, and the wrasse was pretty interested in it. He kept checking himself out in it. He would stop and he'd look at himself for a good 10 minutes at a time. So I'm hoping that this mirror will help him get in the tank, uh, excuse me, get in the trap as well. And like I said, I'm going to be feeding them in the trap. So I've got a little hole drilled right here on the top. Put my mysis in here, insert it onto the trap, score it in the food. I'll probably let the fish get in there for a day or two so they're comfortable with the trap. And then hopefully that six line will go in there. Because chances are that the first day I do this, the wrasse is going to want nothing to do with this trap. So I'll have to feed the fish, get him used to it, get him to see that the only way he's going to get food, if he gets right in here. So here's the trap in my tank and you can see there's not a fish anywhere in sight. Now well, this is what I expected. They're probably completely freaked out by this new thing in their home. So they're going to give it a while before they're going to trust it and go cruise around my tank. So really all I can do for right now is hang out, let my fish get used to it, and in a couple hours I'll try to feed them and see if I can get a couple of them to jump in the trap. So the winning game has begun. So this is pretty much what day one looked like. I put the food in the trap, it kind of blow out. The chromos might get partially in there to eat a little bit, but the tang wasn't going to get in there. The wrasse is nowhere to be seen. So I knew that this was all I was going to get and had to leave it at that. So day two, things got a little bit better as I expected. The chromus would get more in the trap, he'd get all the way in there to eat a little bit, the tang would get interested in the trap, he would get in there to eat. The wrasse is interested, but he's not going to get in that trap. He's just looking at it from the outside. So the tang would get in there, he'd have a look, he'd eat, and then he'd see himself in the mirror and get really pissed off. As you can see here, he'd get really aggressive, he'd throw up his fins, he'd start kind of trying to spike or try to get at the mirror. So this was about as, as far as I got with day two. I actually ended up removing the mirror, so that way the tang didn't get overly aggressive and overly upset when he was in the trap. Just in case he might be scaring off the other fish, I wanted to make everything as peaceful as possible. And then actually at the end of day two, I figured out that the chromus was keeping the wrasse away from the trap. So I went ahead and pulled the chromus out, put him in my sump. That way the wrasse could have a clear entry into the trap without anybody hindering him. So it's day three. I tried to catch this wrasse now for three days in a row and I can't get him. I almost had him earlier. He got in, I tried to pull on my string and the door wouldn't shut. So now we scared off and he ran away. So I'm gonna put some more food in and then come back here and get him because I'm tired of dealing with this guy and I want him out. So I'll be back. Wish me luck.
Come on. Yes! 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 yes. He's out of there! Yeah! 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 Yes! Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him. Yeah! I'm going inside.